Hi guys, so we are here and we're going to do one of the soaps that I made last night that has been through its gel phase. I was up till 4 a.m. doing this one. Uh, <clears throat> so I figured I'd let you guys see what that looks like and how messy it is. Okay, so we got a little sugar on top of it. So the molds, in case you're unfamiliar, have two parts, the little wooden part, and then this part, which is silicone. You just kind of gently pull it away. And this part of soap is Sunrise in the Gulf. So it has a few different types of clay in it. It has some French rose clay, and it has some white killing clay. Um, and then the colors are a natto seed, and, sorry, I'm gonna get down there. <coughs> a natto seed, um, some turmeric, and some ground paprika. So we, I have all that stuff in here that I do ground fresh. Um, so it gets the best color. I just stick it in with some oil and I usually warm it up really low on the stove to get the most color out of the uh, ground seeds. I use a little coffee grinder which helps, makes it a lot less work. I do have a pistol and mortar um, if you really want to get a good forearm workout, I recommend going that way. Um, it is definitely not my cup of tea, so I use the coffee grinder, um, which is a miracle. A nice little godsend. There we go. There we go. You just kind of loosen it up, and as long as your bar did what it's supposed to do, it should, there we go, more or less, come out the mold without incident. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So, sunrise in the Gulf, you can't really see, but there's some different shades in there. Of course, you can see the red top, and then, well, you can see where the turmeric was. And we put a little bit of chicory coffee in that just for some exfoliation action, and we topped it off with some turbinado sugar. Um, and we're just brushing off anything that's loose. Okay. Good. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this and stamp it. Um, I have a lovely stamp that my husband made. There we go. Um, this 3D printer. So it's nice, it'll work. You just gotta spray it down with a little rubbing alcohol to kind of move the way. And I don't have a rubber hammer, but we do have that. Give me two seconds to run and grab the, the cutter and I'll be right back. Okay. So we have a we have one of these. It's nice, it's already preset. So all you do, you just kind of pop the the soap in here. There we go. Okay, and then they have these little pre marked divots right here. Each one of these is an inch. And you want to put it this way so it doesn't move around. If you put it in this way, you have that gap and it's going to move around. Like as you push it, you'll get some more crooked cuts. So, those of you who are Looking for a little tip, there it is. And we just have these, I'll get the sugar off of it. I'm using a nicer one. Here is the one I, I normally use. It has gotten stained from turmeric that won't come out in the wash. It's got the red French clay. That is usually my soap rag. <laughs> so then you just slide this in here. And they have these little grooves. And I like to kind of go across like this. And push it on through. There we go. Get a little leverage there. 
and go till it ends, and then I just do one of these. We'll go all the way down so that it connects into the next little divot. And there's a divot on each side. And just slide it on through. And then we'll do the next one as well. Same process. There are some nicer cutters out there that have uh, like multiple notches all the way down so you can get a bunch of bars all at the same time. Go and push down and then that should bring up one of the soaps so that we can see the inside. So that is one of the soaps and it's very nice. And it smells really good, of course. Uh, some smell like oranges. We use a lot of orange, some bergamot, um, and this. A little bit of vanilla just to give it like a little bit of a warm scent. Um, and so we'll go ahead and clear this off. One other tip for you is that, so my soap has, most of my soaps have like a little topping. So this one has sugar on the top. Um, when you're cutting your soap, if you cut downward, what you're going to do is you're going to push that topping through and you're going to get drag marks. So don't do that. Alright, so we're just going to spray this down with a little alcohol. And that just kind of helps it lube without remoistening the soap. Kind of wipe off any excess. Make sure it's facing the right way. And that's important. You can get it all lined up wherever you want it. That's crooked. And I just kind of hold it in place, and you're just going to kind of like this tap. Okay, so light taps, and just a little wiggle wiggle, just to get it to come out. There we go. Perfect. And then some branding. Apothecary of the Rockies. So. That is how you do that, and then we're just going to repeat the process. We're going to cut these, and then we'll just keep stamping them. Okay. Pivot. If you want, you can leave that in there so it holds it in place. And you just do the same thing here. All the way down. Pivot. There we go. And then that should pull up. There we go. Push it forward. And repeat. There we go. So, in addition to the chicory coffee, the clays, and the natural dyes, you also have some sea moss in here um, and some aloe. That is added at the end. Um, <laughs> I've had some soaps where I was not aware of that and I added it in the lye stage. Um, and that creates quite a reaction. So I do not recommend that. Um, so this is something that after you sort of got a bit of a trace that you're going to add, if you're going to do sea moss or something like that. get a full bar out of this. This is going to be like the little end bit that you always get. So just kind of hold this one a little bit in place since there's nothing to support that. And pull down. 
and then you have your scrap. It's a nice little thing for those of you starting out. If you do like farmers markets or um, if you have like a shop or something, it's really great to save these because then you can just let customers try them. If you do a farmers market, you're just gonna bring some water with you um, and just like a bowl. Um, I use this one. Try not to get anything wet. Um, and you just fill that up with water, bring like a couple gallons of water or something with you um, so that your customers can actually use them. So we're going to stamp the rest of these and then we'll trim up the bars. So just be careful. Well, you can see how much of this came off. Um, we definitely don't want that getting into the parts of the bar that we don't want it. So just kind of keep one little area clean from that. <coughs> We're going to set that there, same process, a little bit of rubbing alcohol, shake off the excess, there's a good bit of excess in this one, there we go. Okay, we're going to line that up, kind of eye it, make sure it's straight, hold it in place and don't smash your fingers. Jiggle it loose. Perfect. There we go. And so, of course, these are going to dry for about four to six weeks. Um, and then we'll go ahead and we'll trim just those two that are ready, just so that you can see. So I have this, and on the back of here, they have a very sharp blade. Let me clean that up from the last trimming. There we go. You can see right there, and they have these little grooves that you can set the edges in. So what you'll do is you're going to take this, kind of set it in those grooves so that you get a nice straight line. You just kind of run it across and just do all the edges like that and that and that and then you go along the bottom, same thing, that. I like to go in a circle. It's just my OCD. 